and welcome to the news here on Magic Pricks. Now I am Krishna Kumar. Let's take a look at the top stories that we're tracking. Bengaluru's frothing garbage choked Bellandur Lake is on fire. Citizens choking on toxic smoke are up in arms. Call it a brazen display of the government's failure. Ahead of the critical BMC elections 2017, Magic Pricks now gets you exclusive access to the list of candidates with criminal records. Shiv Sena leads with 41 criminal candidates. BJP has 23. More details in our exclusive. In the national capital, nine children hospitalized after a dead rat was found in the midday meal. Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia is seen at the school in damage control mode. And as the Ola Uber driver's protest enters day 8, waiting time for commuters surges to nearly 20 minutes for a cab. Dried weeds and industrial waste caused the Bellandur lake bed to go up in flames, covering the area in toxic smoke. That is the word coming in from MLA, N.A. Harris and Karnataka State Control Pollution Board Chairman Lakshman, who inspected the 900-acre lake bed. The Bellandur Lake is in the news for frothing over with toxic foam and had caught fire once earlier as well in the year 2015. Here is a detailed ground report from my colleague Srija in, Be in Bengaluru. Take a look. A day after Bellandur Lake Bed went up in flames, our MLA N.A. Harris as well as Karnataka State Pollution Board Chairman Lakshman and other BBMP uh, officials visited and inspected the spot to uh, understand what really caused the fire. As you can see right behind me, this is exactly the spot uh, where uh, the Bellandur Lake Bed went up in flames. What we understand occurred as per the uh, BBMP officials is that uh, the hyacinth in between the lake went, went up in flames. Now what caused the fire is the speculation that uh, it could be the industry elf effluents which are fl uh, flowing into this very lake. Also what we know is that uh, according to the Karnataka State Pollution Board what they tell us is that they have already uh, initiated action against uh, uh, some of the apartment owners as well as uh, industries who are letting uh, the industry effluents are uh, flowing into this very lake. Also remember this is not the very first time that uh, Bellindu Lake Bed is going up in flames. This is in fact the third time and also very very recently, that is in January, uh, by the end of January, uh, the Urban De uh, Development Department, Mahindra Jain, had in fact uh, uh, formed an expert committee especially to revive this very uh, particular lake. In fact, a, a 20-member team was formed to revive this uh, Belendur Lake. However, they had in fact come up with short-term and long-term measures. According to them, the short-term measures were to install aerators uh, so that it can uh, improve the oxygen level of the lake and as well as to uh, uh, install STPs. However, it's been uh, already a month has passed by so far. Now, uh, no uh, measures have been uh, put into action. Also, what we understand is that uh, what could have uh, caused the fire, uh, according to uh, the BBMP officials as well as the Karnataka State uh, Pollution Board Chairman Lakshman, is the buildup of methane uh, because of the uh, industrial uh, effluents as well as the detergents which have been flowing into this very lake. In Bengaluru, Srija for Magic Breaks now. Now government has uh, taken a serious uh, concern about the uh, this uh, Belandur Lake and uh, the committee uh, is, has been already formed, the expert committee by the government and uh, a committee has uh, recommended uh, so many uh, recommendations, uh, especially uh, short term measures and long term measures uh, and uh, short term and now the lake is, uh, 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 the custodian, uh, custodian is uh, BDA, BDA they are taking uh, uh, initiative to float the tenders immediately to uh, tackle the issues, uh, especially short-term tenders, uh, short-term measures, that is uh, removing of uh, weeds and then uh, installation of uh, aerators. Uh, we have to stop the inflow of the uh, sewage and uh, the, we have to enforce the law very effectively uh, so that around 600 uh, apartments uh, we have identified uh, the defaulters. Out of that, uh, uh, around 100. Uh, 30 apartments uh, are still yet to commission the STPs and uh, we have filed around 14 cases uh, against the builders uh, and we have given um, uh, opportunity uh, 68 months uh, uh, so they have to complete the construction of the uh, STPs for uh, a treatment of sewage and uh, reuse of uh, uh, treated water. 
the coming here your questioning all this should have happened 25 years back sorry it has not happened so we don't uh, want to make a blame game but i think uh, what has not been done which was to have done that time is what we are doing now and th that is the result of what you are seeing today so tanks had to be safeguarded had to be maintained well which has not happened they have abused it so far you know, all the sanitary waters have been let into it full from bangalore everywhere each one of you use shampoo soap all of us all are coming into these tanks and it's polluted today and there's a lot of chemical uh, particles in that so now because of that this fire is happening there's no, no other reason for that immediately now this expert committee is there the lot of people are working on it actually now it is there is a full 100% on toes work is going on but it's been over a month sir don't you no think? no see all these things can't happen in a month or in a few days of time it needs see you now they have called for tender they are going to bring in uh, fresh air into this water to air it uh, so then what happens this water will get cleaned then they are going to take out all the weeds there's so much of weeds so we are really not able to see what is there inside so also apart from this what are you planning to do about uh, illegal garbage dumping like biomedical waste on the lake bed as well no already that is also taken care now biomedical just now we discussed the chairman was there they are already making uh, incineration plants for collecting that and burning it out so that is also in program you can just meet the chairman for pollution control board and also take further details it is a irresponsible attitude of a civil society also ki log sochte nahi ki hum ye talab ko hum dobara paida nahi kar sakte hain to bahut hi zaruri hai ki urgent important priority isko dekar state government must put in all the checks and balances to ensure ki the talab saaf rahe aur uske jo effect hai uske wo weeds mein wo mitti mein सराउंडिंग एरिया में सब पे असर पड़ेगा सो इट इज ऑफ ग्रेट कंसर्न उसकी जानकारी इकट्ठी की जा रही है और शाम तक जानकारी आ जाएगी तो आप सबको सर्कुलेट करें नहीं नहीं इतना पासिंग रिमार्क नहीं दिया जा सकता हमें देखना पड़ेगा कि उसके कारण क्या कारण है किन कारणों से उसके अंदर आग लगी है और उसके तथ्यों की जानकारी इकट्ठी की जा रही है शाम तक इकट्ठी हो जाएगी और उसके बाद आपको दे दी जाएगी एस्टरडे इन द इवनिंग अराउंड 17:50, दैट इज 5:50, वी गॉट अ मैसेज दैट देर इज डेंस स्मोक इज कमिंग फ्रॉम बेलंदूर लेक सो इमीडिएटली आवर फायर टेंडर फ्रॉम सरजापुर रोड स्टेशन दे रश्ड हियर दे फाउंड दैट द ग्रास इज बर्निंग विद डेंस स्मोक yesterday you might have seen in the tv and all it was white smoke coming white smoke is because of the dry grass so they extinguished the fire because fire was around 50 to 60 feet inside the lake so it it was a you know, fireman could not uh, uh, reach there immediately because it was sinking the foot was sinking with a great difficulty or people they went inside uh, with a hose and all they doused the fire the fire was burned control we have actually seen in bangalore that most of the lakes are actually uh, you know there's there's toxins there's froth that actually spills over to the to the to the roads of bangalore so it's a it's a serious concern when it when it is about environment and at the same time also the impact that it actually has on human health because all this while we were only talking about uh, water pollution you're we talking about how toxic the lakes have become the water bodies of bangalore have become but this time after this lake has caught fire it also means the kind of air quality impact it, that it actually has uh, on the citizen so it's very very tragic that imagine in 2015 the same lake caught fire in 2016 august the same lake caught fire and now again in 2017 we are seeing the same situation and there's nothing no action that we actually see or no intent of action that we actually see on the ground and i think it's it's everybody's collective responsibility responsibility every alternate day we see the debris dumping here we have uh, we would lock call with bbmp or we will call the hsr police station uh, they'll come a day later and probably just see okay now it's under control and go back we had a meeting with uh, bbmp uh, with revenue department everything at the end of january and that time it was a clear action on bbmp to be fencing around the lake so that the debris dumping is much better controlled 
and also there was an action on the revenue department to mark the boundaries so i am uh, we are still waiting for those actions to be taken i hope uh, this escalation of this issue will um, probably force the authorities to take the right action Away from that, and on to our mega exclusive 41 Shiv Sena candidates standing for the upcoming BMC elections 2017 have criminal records. Former ally BJP and the MNS offer close competition in this hall of shame. This is from a state election commission report that Magic Bricks now accessed exclusively. My colleague Disha Shah, who was the person who got access to that exclusively, gets us this report. Take a look. Yes, absolutely. 141 candidates contesting BMC elections have criminal cases registered against them. And as for the information by the State Election Commission of Maharashtra, Shiv Sena, the party which has been in power for the last 25 years, tops the list with highest number of candidates having criminal records against them. That's 41 candidates, followed by MNS with 39 candidates, BJP with 23 candidates, and NCP and Congress, they have equal score here with 19 candidates each. So, and if you just sum it up out of 141 candidates, the information also states that at least 30% of the candidates have serious criminal offences against them, which includes like rape, murder, kidnapping and even assault for that matter. And out of these 30 percentage, um, few candidates have also multiple cases registered against them, which also includes offences like extortion and drives for that matter. But now, before going to vote, now the State Election Commission for the very first time has come up with this uh, idea that just outside the polling booth, before you go to cast your vote, each and every detail of the candidate, which will include the educational qualification and also this, the criminal data that we are talking about that will be visible that will be available on the display board for uh, you to uh, read and to make that informed choice and decision before you go and cast your vote this is the shasha for magic bits now and it's uh, time now for our special series mumbai kar vote here's a report card of the city's f south ward which runs from parel to curry road the area was once dotted with mills but now They've given way to commercial establishments and high-end residential properties. So, what are the issues people here are facing? Dishasha went on ground and gets us this special report. Take a look. Ward is turning out to be the most congested area in Mumbai. This area from Parel to Curry Road was earlier filled with mills, but now it has slowly given way to commercial and office establishments, high-rise and high-end residential properties as well. Mills have long closed down, but the BDD Chawls, which were home to around 200 families, still exists. The area has fast developed into a major commercial hub over the past decade, but lack of planning has led to chaotic conditions. Traffic snarls, water logging during monsoons and poor living conditions of Chol are only adding to the misery. The century-old BDD Chol still continues to remain in the most dilapidated and dangerous conditions and the residents here complain saying that it is, it is in need of an urgent redevelopment. However, what they say is that nothing much has been done by the government except for assurances. Thousands of families here reside and for several years they are waiting for some housing assistance from the state government but they say that they are still waiting for better living conditions. These stalls were built by the British in the early 1920s as a part of low-cost housing solution. The redevelopment of 32 BDD stalls in Nayagaon has been on the state government's agenda for the past two decades. Residents say that the government has announced only 500 square feet houses for eligible residents of the BDD stalls but there has been little progress on it. ये बीडीडी चाल जो है ना ये पचास साल के पहले से ये रीडेवलपमेंट करने के लिए वो लोग का बहुत कोशिश चालू है लेकिन वो लोग हम लोग को खाली ये इलेक्शन आएगा जब ही वो लोग ये काम करता है इलेक्शन के बाद ये लोग का कुछ काम चलता नहीं But the local cooperators say that this property is handled and maintained by PWD and not by the BMC. अपना नायगांव का बीडीडी चाल का जो पॉलिसी मैटर बनने वाले हैं अभी 
तो पॉलिसी सीएम ले रहे हैं डिसीजन उनका सीएम ने डिसीजन लेना है कि कभी इनका रीडेवलपमेंट चालू करना है मेरे हिसाब से माड़ा अभी इसके लिए बॉडी है अपेक्स बॉडी माड़ा है माड़ा इसका डेवलपमेंट कर रही है और मेरे हिसाब से वो फाइनल स्टेज पे है Pedestrians have a tough time in this ward. The footpaths are occupied by hawkers illegally, and with a large number of corporate offices in this area, the traffic is a nightmare. With large number of vehicles flying on both sides of the road, traffic slows down to a crawl every single day. And commuters, what they tell us is that they just take 45 minutes to uh, just cross this particular route. So of course, they say that the elected representatives have done precious little to solve this problem. Yeah, see, I'm bored. I'm bar nikal the. Itna traffic rehta hai. Puchho mat. Koi dhyan nahi rehta hai. Kitna pani bhar jata hai. Tabhi bhi baris mein humko bahut problem. तब एक हमारे बीएमसी से रिक्वेस्ट है कि इधर हमारा पानी का एक निकाल कर दो और आरटीओ के रिक्वेस्ट है कि हमको जाने ट्रैफिक के लिए कर दो और फेरी वाले से भी थोड़ा बड़ा जरा बहुत प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है हम लोग से सेवरल इयर्स ऑल द वे व्हेन वी स्पीक अबाउट ट्रैफिक और वाटर लॉगिंग इट्स अ मेजर इशू वी ऑल नो इट आई डोंट थिंक सो एनी वार्ड ऑफिसर हु हैज बीन एवर इलेक्टेड हु एक्चुअली ट्राई टू डू समथिंग अबाउट इट थर्डली वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम हॉकिंग हॉकर्स ओवर हियर आर देयर एंड दे आर इंक्रीजिंग डे बाय डे I think we are in great or extreme need of a sky skywalk over here, which I don't think so. Nobody is actually even trying to take an initiative to get it done. BMC should demarcate special hawking zones in Parel. It's it's the need of the hour because it's become a business district. It has taken off load from the central, uh, the southern South Mumbai. So the infrastructure has sadly has not coped up with that kind of influx which we have seen here. There's a la the the multitude of people that have come in to work at Lower Parel has made this uh, infrastructure here burst at the seams. so that needs to be addressed very importantly and footpaths of course unless you clear the hawkers the footpaths won't be usable however it seems like the corporators do not have a satisfying response to the concerns that citizens are raising traffic ka samasya ho barabar aap baat kar rahe hai karri road ka jo bridge hai wo abhi band hai isliye zyada traffic ho raha hai aur iske upar mahanagar palika mein bahut bahas ho raha hai aur jaldi usme hal nikal ke ye problem solve hone wale residents say a lot needs to change here right from having good quality of roads to solving the traffic problems and lastly better living conditions residents claim that these were the promises that were made by the elected representatives over several years but nothing has been delivered so far by the elected representatives so they want them to deliver the basic things in this upcoming bmc elections this is nishasha for magic pics now nine students of a government run school in southeast delhi were hospitalized after a dead rat was found in their midday meal as per reports the children of the government boys senior secondary school in deoli area complained of nausea and stomach ache after consuming the meal after which the rat was found in the food the children have been hospitalized and are under treatment the hospital has said that they are stable and will be discharged soon the school authorities have also filed a complaint in this regard my colleague deepa rana gets us this ground report take a look Nine students of a government school located in Deoli in Malviya Nagar were hospitalized on Thursday evening 4 p.m. after consuming midday meals in which allegedly there were dead rats found. Uh, in a series of tweets, Education Minister Manish Sodia also uh, raised questions on the negligence of the school authority as well as the uh, company providing uh, midday meals to these uh, Delhi run schools. However, today the angry parents protested outside the school. We also try to reach out to the school authorities who refused to talk to the media, as well as the angry parents who protested outside the school. The parents, in the meanwhile, have raised questions on the quality checks being done by the Delhi government. They have also demanded resignation of Delhi's uh, deputy chief minister and education minister Manish Sodia on the negligence caused by the Delhi government, and has raised uh, questions. as to what the delhi government has really done for uh, the delhi run government schools this is deepa rana for magic bricks now in new delhi kya hota ladka ke sath aise aise wo khana mein chua mil gaya tha tabiyat kharab ho hai jaise ho raha na parwahi aise nahi hona chahiye aur hum kya bole kya naam hai aapke ladke ka kitni umar hai sanat kumar ja hai 13 saal ke kaun si class mein kaun si class 6 mein kaise malum chala मालूम चला फोन किया वहाँ से मास्टर ने ऐसे ऐसे आपका लड़का बीमार है यहाँ हॉस्पिटल ले जा रहे हैं कितने बजे घटना है सात बजे सात बजे मेरे पास फोन आया था 
उसके बाद हम किसी पड़ोसी को लेके यहाँ पे आए थे यहाँ पे देखे तो सारे बच्चा है नौ बच्चे है स्कूल प्रशासन का क्या कहना है कुछ बोला उन्होंने किसी टीचर से बात नहीं नहीं मेरे को नहीं हुआ है अभी आपके आप क्या चाहती है सरकार इस पर क्या करे क्या कार्रवाई करे क्या कहे जैसे लापरवाही हो रहा है ऐसे नहीं होना चाहिए बच्चा तो घर से खाना बना के दे लेकिन बच्चा जाता है खा लेता है वहाँ जब आता है तो जो वेंडर है जो सप्लायर है उसके खिलाफ हमने क्रिमिनल केस दर्ज कराएंगे उसके खिलाफ जो भी स्ट्रिक्ट क्रिमिनल एक्शन हो सकता है वो लेंगे क्योंकि बच्चों की जिंदगी से खिलवाड़ करने वाले को बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे और इनको ऐसा सबक सिखाएंगे कि आगे आने वाले समय में कोई इस तरह की लापरवाही करने की हिम्मत ना करे रेगुलर इंस्पेक्शन का मैं शुरू करा रहा हूँ और आज ही मैंने अभी यहाँ आने से पहले चीफ सेक्रेटरी को ऑर्डर किया है की अगले एक हफ्ते में दिल्ली के सारे सीनियर आई ऑफिसर्स सेक्रेटरी प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी लेवल के ऑफिसर्स एक एक किचन इंस्पेक्ट करके आके मुझे रिपोर्ट बताएंगे और मेरे दिए गए पैरामीटर्स के आधार पे उनकी रिपोर्ट तैयार करेंगे किस किस पैरामीटर पे इंस्पेक्शन करना है और उसको उसको भतीजावाद का भी आरोप लगाया जा रहा है बता रहे विधायक जो भी हो देखिए विधायक के रिश्तेदार का हो प्रधानमंत्री के रिश्तेदार का हो मुख्यमंत्री के रिश्तेदार का मंत्री के रिश्तेदार का हो किसी को नहीं बख्श सकते जिसने जो कहीं भी ठेका ले रखा है वो चाहे जिसकी जो जान पहचान हो लेकिन अगर बच्चों की जिंदगी से कोई खिलवाड़ करेगा लापरवाही करेगा तो छोड़ेंगे नहीं अंतिम दम तक लेके जाएंगे और आज जो केस हुआ है ये कल जो केस हुआ है इस पे तो मेरा खुद का कमिटमेंट है मैंने सुबह साढ़े चार बजे अपने ऑफिसर्स उसकी किचन में भेज दिए थे कि देख क्या और इंस्पेक्शन में हालत क्या है मैं खुद जाके सर पर इंस्पेक्शन करूंगा सारी दिल्ली की किचन में सीनियर मोस्ट आई ऑफिसर्स को भेज भेज के इंस्पेक्शन कराएंगे जो जो गड़बड़ कर रहा है उसको It's day eight of the Ola and Uber drivers' strike—a protest that has hit commuters in New Delhi, Hyderabad, and Bengaluru. The strike started on the 10th of February with drivers protesting against the low fares and the lack of basic amenities. And uh, we have uh, my colleague Adrija Chatterjee getting us this ground report from New Delhi. Take a look. This is the eighth day of the Ola Uber strike in the capital, uh, and as you can see, I'm surrounded by striking drivers. They haven't, according to them, received any help from the government or Ola Uber yet. Uh, they have been asking for a price hike from the current six rupees per kilometre. They have also asked the company to give back their incentive. Which was taken away two months back, which has severely affected their earnings. They've also asked Ola and Uber to stop taking the 25% benefit that they would take from the drivers, and have asked it to be reduced to 10%. Uh, this has greatly paralysed the capital, as um, 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 as far as as big as two lakh cabs are not plying on Delhi and NCR streets. Uh, there is a waiting time of close to 25 minutes. For every cab that you're looking for in Ola and Uber, uh, it is becoming extremely difficult for the consumer as well as for these drivers whose livelihood has been severely affected uh, by the strike that has now entered its eighth day. Uh, the union, the association that is uh, leading this strike, has met the government. They have met representatives from Ola and Uber, but have not found any solution yet. In fact. uh what is really increasing the tension is that the ola uber strike is very well on its way to spread in other parts of the country especially bangalore and chennai uh as you can see these people have been protested and jantar mantar here for a long time now away from all of that the yoga guru and baba of merchandise as many call him ramdev's Patanjali line of ayurvedic products is in the eye of the storm yet again advertising watchdog advertising standard council of india has found over 30 advertisements of the ayurvedic brand that they say could be misleading here's a detailed report sat anda arupar patanjali dant kanti patanjali kachigani mustard oil Patanjali fruit juice all the products including at least 30 others by yoga guru ramdev's patanjali have been pulled up by advertising watchdog advertising standard council of india for misleading consumers by making tall claims with no scientific data this comes up to several complaints that were received by the consumer complaints council if a complaint is upheld Uh, what we do is we uh, guide and we advertise uh, advise the advertiser that 
we have reviewed your advertisement and this particular wording in your advertisement or this particular visual we find problematic so if it's a two wheeler advertisement and uh, if a person is shown without wearing a helmet uh, what the advertiser needs to do is maybe change that visual and modify their ad so we work and we operate uh, based on persuasion Patanjali's Dantkanti, its most popular product, was pulled up by Advertising Standard Council of India for making claims that the brand is effective against swelling and bleeding of gums, yellowing of teeth, sensitivity, etc. The advertising watchdog found this claim to be misleading. When they got notices from us in terms of the manner in which they were advertising, which was actually violating the code of conduct of ASCII, they came, they met, they understood the whole mechanism, but they decided to challenge it. Patanjali is but one example where a brand has been pulled up for misleading the consumer. Brand experts, however, believe that growing number of complaints against a brand leader could impact the consumer's trust. So the believability quotient is very, very important because a consumer once bitten, twice shy. And the consumer is going to run away from pieces of advertising, not only uh, which 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 uh, which lie to him, not only uh, that piece of advertising, but they distrust the entire category. So individual brands have the responsibility to pack integrity in the advertising, fundamentally not only for themselves, but to build up and take the level of category advertising uh, from a lack of integrity to uh, humongous integrity. Time and again, Baba Ramdev's company Patanjali Ayurveda has been pulled up for misrepresenting information in its advertisements. This includes an 11 lakh rupee fine that was filed by the court in Haridwar for misleading advertisements. In the meantime, the industry believes a strong deterrent action must be taken by the government against these advertisers. Amitabh Balachandra for Magic Bricks Now. Well, we did reach out to the company and they told us that uh, they are looking for legal options and that the matter is sub -judice and they would not like to comment on this further. With that, it's a wrap here on this edition of the news on Magic Bricks Now. Thank you so much for watching. This is Krishna Kumar signing off. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.